Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Kyla's Theory. Today we will discuss the photographer Gabrielle Galamberti, his side of the story and his involvement with the controversial Balenciaga ad campaign. Gabrielle Galamberti is a photographer tied to the controversial ad campaign of the Balenciaga photo shoot. Some of his work can be seen in his Toy Story series in which he pictures children around the world with their favorite toys. Galamberti is also an author who includes In Her Kitchen. In his book, he dedicated the book to his grandmother and he shares the experiences and different cultures of multiple people sharing their most beloved recipes. Furthermore, he also has a book titled Toy Stories, photos of children from around the world and their favorite things. Now, how did the Balenciaga campaign start for Galamberti? As seen here, he states the following. Balenciaga called me at the end of September. The first email that I received was from someone that worked closely with Demna. And the email says basically, hello, Gabrielle, we are Balenciaga. Demna saw your work. We like your style. We like Toy Stories. We would like you do the same. We would like for you to do the same thing for us. Now moving forward, since the ad campaign, Galamberti has experienced a lot of backlash. As of date, he fears for his safety, for he has received countless threats on the photos that were taken. However, he declares his innocence. He states, he is taking the brunt for an additional highly controversial photo shoot campaign in which papers from a Supreme Court case were present in the ad. However, he states he did not have anything to do with that. As seen in the New York Post, he declares he has no involvement in that particular shoot with the paperwork. However, what happened was that the images of his photo shoot with the bears were cropped and placed next to the documents you know, given the illusion that it was all one in the same when it was not, it was separate. Furthermore, as seen in the New York Post, he is also claiming that the brand, along with creator, director Demna, did not do enough to address the public during the nearly month long scandal, those putting his safety at risk. He further states that he was writing Balenciaga, he was consistently trying to get in contact with them, he was not hearing anything from them. In the meantime, while they was waiting to put out their statement, he was being bombarded with harassing emails, threats on his life, on his Instagram, that pretty much his life was turned upside down. And he states that the children that were actually photographed were Balenciaga employees. Before the children were brought on the set, he claimed mannequins had been used in their place to get approval from the higher ups from the label. He stated, we took some photos and then the photos were going, going from my camera to someone's computer and then they were sending these photos to someone at the headquarters of Balenciaga. When they say, okay, we simply replaced the mannequin, the real child. As seen here on Twitter, you can see Gabrielle Galamberti actually giving thanks to the Guardian for it states here. Galamberti described his tightly controlled experiences on set with the Balenciaga team. First taking pictures of mannequins and test pictures before the children were photographed in the poses. We took some photos and then the photos were going from my camera to someone else's computer. He states flat out that he was oblivious to anything, you know, of doing anything wrong. He stated when he did see the bags, that people was pretty much informing him, look, this is punk. You know, nobody never mentioned anything to him about anything else. He said, I can recognize if we are going too far or not, but in that occasion, I trust them and I didn't see anything wrong. Furthermore, he states, I must stress that I was not entitled in whatsoever manner to neither choose the products nor the models, nor the combination of the same. As a photographer, I was only and solely requested to lit the given scene 
and take the shots according to my signature style. He further states that people was focusing on him in which the focus should have been more on the other people involved, like as soon as the set director, the artistic creator, um, that he was just there to do a job, to get paid, to take photos, and was not at all had anything to do with the placement or the papers, the set design of anything of that nature. However, he was being pulled in as if he was the one responsible for the entire setup in which he has a problem and he feel that now his life is very complicated because he have been tied to this um, controversial ad in which he, from his perspective and his mind sight, he went in there to do a job. He was informed this is punk. Like, hey, you know, I don't have all that other stuff y'all have going on. Leave me out of it. I don't have anything to do with that. However, he feel his image is now tarnished, which will perhaps make his work going forward a little bit more complicated. Okay. Now, with all this in mind, let's take a look at the statement that he put out on his Instagram. It states, Following the hundreds of hate mails and messages I received as a result of the photos I took for the Balenciaga campaign, I feel compelled to make this statement. I am not in a position to comment Balenciaga's choices, but I must stress that I was not entitled in whatsoever manner to neither choose the products, nor the models, nor the combination of the same. As a photographer, I was only and solely requested to lit the given scene and take the shots according to my signature style. As usual, for a commercial shooting, the direction of the campaign and the choice of the objects displayed are not in the hands of the photographer. Now, my take on this is that he potentially could have been taken advantage of perhaps blindsided by the money that Balenciaga was paying him to shoot the scene in which she could have acted a bit or, you know, was just a, a bit too trustworthy taking their word for, it. you know, as a photographer, you know, he's there, he's taking pictures, you know, he's being directed on what to take. He said that he can discern if it's going too far. However, they portrayed it as punk rock and that's what he went with. That's what he, that's what he said. He stated he did not see anything wrong with the bears and how they were dressed. I saw the connection of punk aesthetic and alarm bells did not ring. He declares that the other imagery and paperwork that was laid out had nothing to do with him. He did not shoot or photograph that scene, yet he is being put in as if he did. Okay, now with all this in mind, what are your thoughts and what are your perspectives? Do you feel that he was fully aware what was happening and he just went with it? Or do you feel that he genuinely was to some degree manipulated and he trusted these people and he really honestly felt that it was a punk rock vibe? With this in mind, if you lasted um, this long to the end of the video, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, thank you for watching the video and I would like to hear your inputs, any thoughts you have pertaining to this situation. If there's any topics you would like me to discuss or to talk about, just be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to research and give my take, you know, so we all can engage with one another and hear each other's perspectives. As always, heads up and shoulders back. See you in the next video. God bless.